Hey Kentucky, it's Kathleen Smith. Tonight, we are going behind the scenes at LEX 18 to see how election coverage really comes together. Come on, let's go take a look. We're gonna make Hey Kentucky tonight. How long before election day have you all been been preparing for this day? I usually start prepping for it as the election coordinator, you know, in January, as soon as the um, candidates have all filed and, you know, I can't really build out the races in because people drop out and things like that, but at least we start getting an idea of what we need to do. I mean, the coverage seems pretty smooth so far. Tonight when the results roll in is when mm -hmm. it gets kind of crazy in here, but right now we're kind of in the calm before the storm. We're about 20 minutes away from the results. Oh, I feel good. We've done this a long time, so. Uh, we have a great system uh, and it goes smoothly most years. I'm not saying it goes perfect. There's always some little snag here and there, but uh, we have a great team here and a great system, so we always feel pretty good about it going in. It's good to be fast and we pride ourselves on that, but we have a great team that really takes pride in making sure they get it right first. Could you tell me how this has changed <laughs> since you've begun doing this? Well, at first we didn't have uh, calculators or computers or anything like that. We did everything by hand. The church called in the votes and we wrote them down by hand and then somebody else took them and them along. Seems a lot easier now. Have you ever had a moment where you were like Steve Harvey at Miss Universe? Have you ever sent out the wrong result? No, uh, fortunately we haven't. Um, and uh, there have been some very, very close races over the years where uh, my boss got very, very nervous with me when I was like, yeah, that's the winner. And he was like, are you sure? And I'm like, I'm sure. When it comes down to calling the race is I think when it's a little nerve wracking, we have to say like this person's the definite winner. And you know, especially when it's a really close race. But today I think everybody, I think we kind of feel like the candidates feel like, let's just get it over with. Yeah. We've been talking about this for weeks, months in some cases. Let's just get it done. Let's figure out who's winning and move on to the general election. Well, I've been doing this for like, um, oh gosh, since 1985. So I always jot down my predictions and I will tell you that uh, pretty well over the years, um, but that I will tell you, I did uh, horrible tonight, <laughs> like terrible. Kevin, what has been the hardest part about the coverage tonight? All of it. <laughs> it's it's a tough job to do. It's, it's like the political version of the Kentucky Derby. There are so many different elements to pull together, and you can't script anything. Everything is on the fly, and I think our guys did a great job tonight. What was the most challenging part of tonight? Uh, probably integrating all the live stuff that we were doing. We had a live uh, victory speech from Ronnie Baston. We actually had a live interview with Andy Barr from Washington, D.C. Uh, pretty proud of that one. That was pretty cool. Matt is extremely adept at going, you know, uh, thinking on his feet and switching things up with me. Uh, I have to say very little to Matt, and he can take the lead on it. It's, it's a great team we've been together for this hour's long special. You know you're not allowed to compliment Matt on our show, right? You were working the board there in the uh, control room during the 7 o'clock how did it go? What what were your thoughts? Feelings. You know, it was it was a lot of fun. Really stressful. You know, which I thrive. You know, I'm kind of like a diamond under the pressure. Uh, Matt Jones was a big problem for me for most of the night. Isn't that always though? Uh, yeah, most days. Matt, you just got off the air. Your first live election yeah. coverage. How'd it go? It was fun. It's like. Uh, you know, it's it's sort of riding a horse as it's going off because, you know, stuff's coming in. You're trying to figure out what's going on. But I really enjoyed it. It's very nice of them to let me be part of it because, you know, they've been doing this forever and they let our, our goobers do it. Does prep start now? Uh, I probably will take a nap first. <laughs> <laughs> a nap or four. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to all the LAX 18 staff for letting me talk to them about what their job really entails here on election night. It was an awesome and informative evening. I know I'm absolutely exhausted now. I can't even imagine how they feel. Matt, back to you.